next grammar point is important construction with the postposition ko. As I mentioned in the previous grammar point that in Hindi, there are many sentence constructions where the subject takes the postposition ko. In fact, some of the very common constructions have the subject with the postposition ko. Here's the list of such common verbs and phrases. Pasand, to like. Chahiye, to want, to need. Lagna, to seem, to look like. Acha lagna, to like. Milna, the verb milna has many meanings. To find, to meet, to run into, to get, to receive, to be available. Let's take them one by one. Pasan means like. This construction takes the subject with the postposition ko and the verb hona is in present tense. The verb hona will always be in the third person. That means ha or ha depending on the number of the things that is liked. Let's take some examples. Muchko mujhe mithai pasand hai. I like sweets. Kya tumko tumhe wo ladki pasand hai? Do you like that girl? Muchko is bazaar mein dukane pasand nahi hai. I do not like shops in this bazaar. In the third sentence, the shops are in plural, so the present tense form of the verb hona is also in plural. That is ha. Another common phrase that takes the subject with the postposition ko is chahiye. The phrase chahiye can be translated into English with the verb want or need based on the context. Muchko kitab chahiye. I need a book. I want a book. Shekhar ko kameez chahiye. Shekhar needs a shirt. Shekhar wants a shirt. Here you can see the postposition with a noun. Shekhar ko. Here's another common sentence. Aapko kya chahiye? What do you need? What do you want? A common verb that has the postposition ko with the subject is lagna. Lagna means to seem, to look like. Let's try to understand lagna with an example. Mujhe wo ladki achhi lagti hai. The literal translation of the sentence is the girl looks like a nice person to me or you can say I find that girl pleasant. But the most common translation would be I like that girl. Next example. Mujhe lagta hai ki. It seems to me that. This is a common phrase. You would hear it a lot. The phrase achha lagna is commonly used in the meaning of to like. Usko ye shahar achha lagta hai. He likes the city. Aaj yahan park mein ghumna mujhe achha lag raha hai. I like strolling in the park today. In the last sentence, the verb achha lagna is in present continuous. The literal translation would be I am liking to stroll in the park today. Let's now take the verb milna. The verb milna has a range of meanings. To find, to meet, to run into, to get, to receive. The logical subject takes the postposition ko and the verb agrees with the grammatical subject or you can call it object in some cases. Let's take all these meanings one by one. The first one is milna with the meaning of to receive, to get. Use 20 rupees jeb kharch milta hai. He gets an allowance of 20 rupees. The subject, as I mentioned, goes with the postposition ko, use, usko. And the grammatical subject is jeb kharch, which is masculine singular. That's why the verb form will be milta hai. The next one, Use achhi tankhwa milti hai. He gets a good salary. Since tankhwa, salary is feminine and the verb agrees with the object, that's why the verb form would be milti hai. The object dictates the number and gender of the verb. Jeb khaj is masculine singular, so milta hai. Tankha is feminine singular, that's why milti hai. Let's now take milna with the meaning of to meet, to run into. Again, the subject will take the postposition ko and the verb will agree with the object. Mujhe wo roz dukaan par milta hai. I meet him, I run into him every day at the shop. The subject ma is with the postposition ko, that is mujhe, and the object or the person that subject meets is masculine singular wo, so the verb will take milta hai. Hamko radha aksar bazaar mein milti hai. We often meet radha in bazaar. Again, hum will take the postposition ko, hamko, and Radha, who is a logical object, dictates the verb. Radha is feminine singular, so milti hai. And finally, milna with the meaning of to be available or to find. It is the verb to find in the meaning of where one can find this or that. In such instances, the logical subjects are usually dropped. Let's take some example. It will be clear then. 
अच्छी कमीजें कहां मिलती हैं वेर आर गुड शर्ट्स अवेलेबल और यू कैन से वेर डज वन फाइन गुड शर्ट्स सिंगापुर में हर जगह अच्छा खाना मिलता है गुड फूड इज अवेलेबल एवरीवेयर इन सिंगापुर और यू कैन से वन कैन फाइन गुड फूड एवरीवेयर इन सिंगापुर इन बोथ सेंटेंसेज द सब्जेक्ट इज जनरल एंड रिडेंडेंट दैट्स वाई दर इज नो सब्जेक्ट इन दिस सेंटेंसेज